Uh, we're back at Channel Liguri, the place we were last April. And uh, after an intense day of uh, driving all the way to Savona from Oliveira San Michele, where we were last weekend, um, we are now back at uh, Francesco's place. Yeah, it's the first time that we visit a, a place for the second time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have never done that before. But we know this place and uh, it is uh, quiet, cozy. As you see, the moon has already risen. And um, um, we're actually a bit uh, tired. It was an exhausting day. We're okay now. Yeah, and uh, now we we'll go for dinner. Yeah. First time. Yeah, actually the first time this trip. This yeah. trip, yeah. 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 yeah, going to a restaurant. Okay, let's go. Hi, do you want to help us? Then please like our content and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. This is the second day of our search. We are going to a real estate agent. It's Sassello. That's more uh, in the mountains. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. And we are on our way back from Sassello. Taking the same twists and turns. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the real estate agent didn't have anything in portfolio that meets our requirements. Rustico, land and sea view. Yeah. So now we are driving to a parking place for the night in Kakare, which is near to the first plot we are going to visit tomorrow in a town called San Giorgio. That is near to Kakare. Capish? And in front of us, as you have probably already seen, there are four bikers and nobody dares to pass them. It's impossible, really. Yeah, you can't. It's full. We're almost full. So, so, so. I do smell nice, yes. We are in Kakare, we slept here in Kakare. It's a small place for some campers and a picnic place. It's, it's funny. Yeah, it's okay. It's a bit noisy now. There is a, they're building here stuff. So um, and it's near the, the highway, but the place is clean. And uh, we actually spent a quiet night here. Yeah, we slept we well. We got a present this morning. Yes. Uh, the guy came with two Chapatas. We ate them all. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be an interesting day. We're going to a small uh, place called San Giorgio. And that is uh, 40 minutes drive from here. It's not clear it's possible to come to that place, to drive to the place. Maybe it's too small. And then we can go by bike, park the car and go by bike, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And roads here are not easy, not for us, and also not for a lonely biker.
we parked the camper over here because the road, the next road is really difficult to go. And I don't think it's possible with the camper. So this is a nice place. It's 650 meters now. And we are going for a walk. That's good, that's good. We'll see you, we'll see you in 10 minutes. Uh, uh, I saw your concert. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, so you'll see us walking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ciao dopo. Ciao. Here's the cemetery. Not many people live there, not many people die there. I think it's that wise house over there. Don't you think? Judging from Google Maps, what we've across seen. The church. Yeah. It's across the church. Across the church. We're waiting for the sea. <laughs> Also, what I wanted to show you is that this house is completely dilatated. That is probably the word, yeah. So if you go here, there are two walls. The house is separated and this goes completely all the way around the house. So if I turn around here, I don't think the GoPro will see anything except for the light above. On our way back, this is a hell of a lot more difficult <laughs> than going down. That was our first plot. Positive, positive things. The only thing is that we had no privacy. A little we privacy. Can make some, we can make some privacy, but it's not. But the positive thing, you can play in the church. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> my own church. <laughs> you own your own church. <laughs> and they receive you. Receive you like this, but they receive you. And you have a nice garden. There's a garden, it's not big, big Lots garden. Nice plants in. But in. there are some other properties that belong to the same owner, which could be sold. And the house is big. House it's is big, uh, yeah. Yeah, well six the, the or seven rooms on the ground floor. There's a very big place. There's a storage. Yeah, but it's very nice. But as we told yesterday, a storage is not for living. So an architect has to come to change the uh, plans from storage to house. I think it's already did. Yeah. Yeah, sixty percent. <laughs> yeah, so that's enough. We are on our way to Dolce Aqua, where we will meet the Dutch real estate agent. It's all the way back to Ventimiglia. It's only 60 kilometers away, but it takes like one and a half hour. It's Friday morning. And we have an appointment with the real estate agent, Guria Estate. We have an appointment at 9.30, but we are a little bit early. And um, just go take a walk. See the neighborhood.
Yesterday I was walking to the beach and I stumbled and I hurt myself here and my knees and my shoulder and my wrist. Yes. And, uh, but I'm, I'm lucky I didn't break anything, so that's good. But I have a lot of abrasions. It's a little bit painful. See, um, poor Maggie. Good work, much better. Could be much worse. Yeah, yeah. You're lucky. Lucky you're athletic and in good shape as a fisherman there. No, it's not. This has got to be a painter. But which painter is it? Gauguin? Seurat? Pissarro? Monet? Ah! So this bridge, the Dolce Aqua Bridge, Mm, with the castle on top, has been painted by Mr. Claude Monet, and here he is. Maybe we should tell someone that they should turn the boat because it's not Monet, it's Nemo. Nemo? Nemo. We had a great meeting with Liguria Estate. They made us feel very welcome. Although they do not have anything for us in portfolio at the moment, they will start searching. We are now going back to Olivetti San Miguela to spend the weekend. It's only a 30 minute drive. We have been there before and we like it there. I wanted to show you our uh, power system. What you see here is the Bluetti solar panel. Those are four panels and they are charging the small Bluetti A3B I have. Here it is. And it's inputting 42 watts, it's outputting 59. It's currently at 98%. It is charging the GoPro batteries, it is charging the gimbal batteries. It is also outputting AC to 30 volts. And if we go here, here's the stack and um, that is charging two batteries of the camera it is charging the GoPro and the GoPro stick and it is also charging four uh, AA batteries so all in all not too bad for such a small system it has never let us down so far so quite happy with it yeah <laughs> Via 500, eh? <laughs> 500, eh? <laughs> Incredibile, eh? <laughs> 53 anni. 53 anni! <laughs> 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, Fiat 500, 53 years old. <laughs> what a hero. <laughs>